hey it's Jody and I have a new process video and I am guest designing for Buzzbe scraps yes please go and follow her on Instagram and you could go to her um, spot on the gingers scraps dot net store for all these digital goodies this collection is called my tunes and since I am really only a paper crafter I decided to print out some things that immediately uh, caught my eye I absolutely love that mixed media background I knew 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 that would be a perfect start to this page I found some older pictures of um, the oldest he had short hair um, but he does have his headphone or his earbuds in um, they are very loud I tell him all the time he needs to lower the volume he's going to be deaf before he's 20 but um, yes moms do not know what they're talking about so it never happens but um, so yes so I trimmed my eight and a half eleven just a tad to fit that navy blue it's actually um, from Basil I believe it's called Admiral and then I put a little bit of vellum behind my picture that I had in my stash and then I used some of the printed, the printed, um, the pattern paper, excuse me. I made little squares of some of the pattern papers so I could use as accents on my layout. I used that darker blue pattern um, as another layer behind each of my photo. I'm using that light blue a solid paper for some corners um, it's a great idea when you're trying to um, save on ink right ink is expensive I'm not gonna lie I wanted to buy all the things I wanted to use all the things but I asked myself what you know what can I use? What stands out? What's most important to me? And um, these these pattern papers and the color scheme was gorgeous. So I knew I wanted to use them. I have um, used that stripey pattern paper for a little bit of whimsy with those hole punching reinforcers. I kind of use them just as like little embellishments to sprinkle around it's a great shape um, it's a fun shape and you still see plenty of the pattern on it I printed out the word my playlist I kind of wanted to ink it but then I decided to go go ahead and use another blue cardstock very light blue um, to put a layer behind it so you could definitely read it I am popping everything up with some adhesive mounting rectangles I get those from the Dollar Tree and they are they do pretty good for me so um, that's what I use <laughs> I know there's plenty of choices um, so I pop my pictures up and definitely the playlist title it's super cute it has a little bird um, tweeting away um, so yes so that was super cute I'm bringing in some thread I think it's a great way to add texture and color um, pops of navy I noticed I covered up most of that navy paint strip but um, but that's okay there's there's plenty around it right and now with the thread it's still going to be a nice color pop um, so I'm going to add that to a couple of places let's see what else do I do I, I used another 
pattern paper to punch out a small tab. This paper was gorgeous. I wish I would have used a little more of it, but it has um, the base symbol, right? The little backward C and the dots. <laughs> I believe it's a base. I should know this. <laughs> um, so I thought that was a cute little whimsy thing to add. I also fussy cut some of the notes. Um, I did not end up using the big, the big note. I wanted to, but that's okay. Um, I was happy with what I did. I wanted to put, I didn't want so much empty space, but then I didn't want to crowd any of those corners I did use one of these vinyl records and it says my tune I gave it a little rough edge and then I also put a small nest of white thread underneath it again just for more color and texture it is coming together nicely I absolutely love it I'm gluing down the little um, hole reinforcer circles I decide yeah I decide against the big notes um, but I do add the three other ones and then the flowers were just screaming at me and I was like well let's add them in of course I want to use the flowers I also popped those up and just tucked them with the pictures <laughs> let's see what out oh i'm looking for a little a little label and i found one that says like a boss <laughs> kind of fitting right <laughs> and the last thing i add is some distress oxide ink splatters in chipped sapphire that's one of my favorite blues here are some final pictures please like i said head to busby scraps blog and gingerscraps.net slash busby scraps for all your digital scrapbooking needs thanks bye bye